middle of these times calling for racial justice. A South Sound teen said he was pulled aside by a supervisor at work after a customer complained that his Black Panther movie t-shirt was racist. He said he was told to go buy a new shirt or go home and change. Kara Sevens Michael Spears is live in Pierce County right now and spoke to that teenager just a few hours ago. Michael? The teen works at the Lowe's in Bonnie Lake and tells us he is beyond frustrated about what happened. He said he never interacted with the customer who complained, but said the next day a woman showed up to his job demanding to know what the company would do to punish him for wearing that shirt from the widely seen movie. A cultural phenomenon grossing over $1.3 billion worldwide. Wakanda forever! Its signature phrase even put on shirts. Like this one, 18-year-old Kyle Sales said he wore to work last weekend at the Bonnie Lake Lowe's. The overhead page for me. He said a supervisor wanted to speak with him. She goes, a customer said your shirt is offensive and racist. And I was like, how is this? This is from a movie. Like, how is this racist? I tried to explain myself. He told us he was given two options. They either go buy a new shirt or go home and change. Kyle said he went home at lunch and threw a sports jersey over it. I was frustrated and I was really, like, put back. I was like... Wow, this isn't racist. I shouldn't be punished for wearing a t-shirt from a movie. The teen said the next day he got a call from a friend after he'd left work who said a woman showed up asking about him and things got ugly. She came in throwing a fit. She's like, what happened to that kid wearing that shirt? What is his punishment? The recent high school graduate said he started working here several months ago to make some money before heading to Washington State University this fall and had not yet been given one of the company's signature vests. You have to earn those. He said what happened brought back memories from high school. Kids calling you the N-word. And the last place he worked. At my last job, my manager actually called me a colored boy. He's not the only one upset. That was pure, unadulterated discrimination. Lowe's owes him... Um, more than an apology. I want to see change. Like, if something was to happen like this again, they'd have protocol or something that's like not just you go home. We did reach out to Lowe's, and a spokesperson says Kyle should have never been told to change his shirt. The company says they have apologized and they plan to use this as a teachable moment. For now, we're live in Pierce County. I'm Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News.